This kebab is absolutely delicious and worth trying. Called Chinchinga in Ghana and Suya or Suya Kebab in Nigeria. Very, very delicious and you definitely have to watch how I put this together. Welcome everyone. If you're new here, welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome. Let's dive right in. I'm using beef for this. You can use chicken, pork, or any meat at all of your choice. I normally use the ones with a bit of veins as I find them juicier. As you can see, I am cutting my meat into bite sizes. I always make sure to cut it along the veins as it makes it juicier in the end. Don't mind me, that is just my preference, okay? <laughs> As you all know, I always leave the quantities of ingredients in the description box, so please be kind to check it out. Having transferred it into a bowl, I'll season with some garlic powder, lots of onion powder as it helps tenderize the meat as well. I'll go in with some chicken seasoning and my sear spice which I lost the footage. I'll add a little bit of soy sauce and some oil to help marinate the meat beautifully. Mix it all together to combine but don't forget your salt. I nearly forgot my salt <laughs> but I added it thank god. <laughs> I'll mix everything to combine, cover it with some cling film and leave it in the fridge for two hours to up to overnight. I love this overnight. If you do not have time, two hours is more than enough. Whenever I'm making my kebabs, I always love to add some vegetables, preferably some green bell peppers and some onions. So I will cut it into bite sizes and I'm going to show you how I use it later once done i will separate the onions beautifully like so and begin skewing my meat make sure to always soak your skewers in water so that it does not burn in the grilling process so it's been overnight now and i will skew everything beautifully starting with my marinated meat continue with some onion and then meat and in that order making it this way makes the meat delicious you know because when you are enjoying it you take some meat and then the next thing is a vegetable and ah the combination in your mouth is absolutely heavenly if you haven't used some vegetables when making your kebabs before try this and you will love it and once done this is how it looks and i will spread everything on a plate and just look at that so so beautiful i love it look at that <laughs> Now I'll add some suya spice into a bowl and add a little bit of oil, mix everything to combine and smear this all over my meat. This will help it to be even more flavorful and very juicy. It makes your meat not get too dry when you're grilling it, okay? If you do not know where to get suya spice where you are, I have shared a recipe of how to make your own suya spice at home. I will leave the link above now you can click on it and check it out or you can check the description box after you have watched this video If you like what you see so far, please be kind to like, comment and share. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, so that whenever I post a video, you will be instantly notified. Now to grill this, I am going to use my halogen oven today. Yes, I love this oven so much. It's so convenient. I will spread it all across my baking rack to make sure that every part will be grilled beautifully i will set it at 180 degrees celsius for about 40 minutes to begin i normally set it at 200 and then once it is a bit grilled i will change it to 180 degrees celsius this will make it very juicy once it is done 
so after about 15 minutes i will flip everything over beautifully and smear it with my oil infused suya yes please do not skip this step as you want your meat to be juicy i keep talking about juicy or getting your meat to be juicy because no one likes dry meat i don't like it so please be very generous when you're spreading it all over okay i'll continue with the grilling or baking process if you'd say and after another 15 minutes look at that it is red day so so beautiful now we're going to serve and enjoy of course you need to serve with some more sea spice and some more vegetables so once you have spread everything beautifully sprinkle it with some more sea spice enjoy with some malt for some cook ah simply heavenly and delicious <laughs> if you're still here thank you so so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and share also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so until i see you in my next one remember that i love you all but god loves you the most bye for now